It's really the dawning of a, a new era for astronomy and uh, for human space exploration. Joshua Hibbert, a PhD candidate at the University of Colorado, is part of a team that will conduct the first science experiments from the surface of the moon since Apollo 17 more than 50 years ago. The remotely operated Odysseus moon lander is carrying six scientific instruments that will also be remotely operated from Earth. The scientists from CU Boulder will be measuring the lunar environment using America's first ever radio telescope on the moon. Hibbard says its wiry antennas will emerge from the shell of the Odysseus lander. NASA wants them to map out a blanket of charged electrons that hover over the moon's surface. You can kind of think of it sort of like when you rub your hair with a balloon or something and you get some static electricity. You know, this kind of discharge can kind of build up. And, and that's something actually that's very important to understand for the upcoming Artemis missions with uh, actual astronauts. The main mission is to set the groundwork for human scientists to visit the moon by the end of the decade. But the team from CU Boulder has their sights set deeper into the universe and its origins. They will also use the lunar telescope to search for an ancient wavelength of light that Hibbert says can't be seen well from Earth or other space telescopes. They hope the moon may offer the perfect view. And if we can do that, it will tell us about the universe before there were stars. And in fact, it's sort of the final frontier of measuring the universe. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News. Well, the scientists from CU Boulder will only have 8 to 14 days to complete those observations. That's about how long the sunlight shines on the moon. Because the spacecraft was not designed to survive the intense cold of a lunar